Yeah. Uh, here we are demonstrating some interesting things that uh, how can we use Java ME embedded uh, in our everyday life. Uh, so, if how some of you can be aware that Java ME embedded uh, now is available for Raspberry Pi. Uh, we did this port for this platform deliberately to, to let the developers uh, to buy such a keyboard, such a cheap board like Raspberry Pi and run Java ME embedded on it. And uh, then we imagined, and, okay, a developer has Raspberry Pi, it, uh, down, he downloaded uh, Java ME embedded, and how can he do anything interesting? And we decided that uh, one interesting stuff is uh, to automate something inside of your garage or inside of your phone. So here we have a model of a smart house, smart home. Uh, we have different systems, light systems that control the light uh, of the house, alarm system uh, and temperature system. Let's demonstrate some of them. Uh, the house uh, can be controlled by two ways, by uh, simple short messages uh, or by raw socket connection. How we can, for example, let's turn on the light. We should write the command turn on light. This SMS uh, is being delivered to this module, and as you see, we proceed, proceed with this SMS and turn, turn on the light in the house. Uh, other interesting stuff is the alarm system. Uh, now, as you see, the alarm is turned off because the, uh, the LED is shining green. Now we are trying to turn on the alarm. I'm writing the text. Sending it. Okay, the alarm is turned on. Uh, another interesting thing here is uh, feedback from the house. For example, imagine that someone opened the door, and now we are waiting for the notification that the door is forced. Something like this. So the the idea is very simple. The technologies are available. And so we would like to motivate our developers to do something like this uh, in their home or garage or other uh, places.